Time for us to have a chat with someone else who knows about how to make a great Christmassy song. He opened this year's Royal Variety performance, singing God Save the Queen to Prince Charles. He shared a stage with Gary Barlow and Harry Hill, which is a random combination, but it's true. And he's also the youngest solo artist ever to be signed to Decca Records. And tonight he's going to be sharing a stage with Only Men Allowed, who we spoke to yesterday on the afternoon show. It's Jack Topping. Welcome to the afternoon show, along with Mum Anita. Welcome to you both. Thank Thank you. you. Really nice to have you here. I know you're travelling all over and you must be feeling a little bit tired um but what a year it's been what a brilliant year it's been an incredible year can you believe it no (laughs) i've been able to meet a lot of people that i would never think i'd be able to meet including gary barlow and uh, i met robbie williams and it's just it's just been an amazing opportunity it what it has been hasn't it um you've mentioned some of the big things that happened there one of the things that happened is that you got a recording deal didn't you so this yes. means um quite a lot it means well i know that you have do you have a special pen that you have from that time when you signed yes. the deal <laughs> tell me about this um well i'd sign the deal and then um they said that i could keep it and i was just i i didn't it was a, it was a bit weird, but um, yeah. Do you ever has anyone ever asked for your signature before that point? Or was that the first yeah. time you had to do your signature? So because um, well, we had a, we had a singing le- we had singing lessons, and we had to um, sign um, a sheet of, so, pa- of a paper, and we had to put our signature, and some just just wrote the name in some scruffy writing. But I just thought just of a just a random signature and it's been I've, t- I've stuck with that one ever since <laughs> oh, is it quite a fancy one <laughs> not really but yeah. and mum's nodding along here you know what it's like I mean this has been a whirlwind and a half hasn't it it it's has, exciting. yes I think we've just been swept along with it all really it's been magical amazing exciting yeah, all of those words and a whole lot more. I bet you can't imagine. Tell us a little bit what um, kind of normal life was like before all of this happened. Well, normal life was um, taking Jack to the choir school, really, um, uh, being a choir boy. And um, and they were like uh, long journeys to, uh, to school every morning. And um, so that in itself was uh, an adventure for us whilst he was at the cathedral. Somebody, um, you know, heard his voice and uh, and then mentioned it to a music producer. And uh, before we knew it, they came to chat to Jack and offered him to uh, a trip to London to record his voice, to record a demo. These and are then- kind of dream things. I mean, I know you've told this, you will have told this story lots of times, but the idea that someone kind of thought, oh, I've spotted some talent there. Yeah. I'm going to quietly arrange for a record producer to come and listen. I'm not going to say anything, but they're just going to be in the audience. They can actually hear the voice. I mean, people would, you know, spend a long time hoping or dreaming that something might like you know like that might happen yeah i think we were actually delighted that jack had the opportunity of, of uh, being a chorister and he he loved it because it was singing you know which is his passion um and so we hadn't even thought of, of anything else but it was so lovely for somebody to to you know to listen to jack and think you know wow and, uh, and for us to be on this journey now really so we we just take it one day at a time and we're grateful yeah i can is there anyone else who's musical in the family Anyone else before um, who's been singing or playing? Well, my, uh, Jack's granddad's, um, one of his granddads was a lover of classical music and his other granddad um, loved singing ballads Yeah, um, in Ireland. So, um, but, but no one else has sung to no, Prince Charles before? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was amazing. Oh, did you get to meet him as well? No, Good it was see. just the artist on stage, but Jack got to meet him after the uh, Royal Variety Show and uh, and um, Camilla, and they were lovely. So what do you say to Prince Charles? <laughs> Can um, you remember? Well, I was... Because co- I, well, I saw um, Prince Charles on stage, and I, I was just uh, just asking Gary, Gary Bell, like, what do I say, what do I say, what do I say? <laughs> and then um, he told me that... Uh, you, uh, I think... He said, um, uh, you have to say good evening, Your Royal Highness. But then Prince Charles just went straight into the conversation and I was, and I, I was, I was sort of like mumbling it. <laughs> and so I didn't, I didn't get time to say that a bit, so <laughs> it was, yeah, it was, it was an incredible I'm sure you did a very good job. And Gary Barlow, so it sounds like you two are best friends. <laughs> Um, I don't know. He's nice to talk to you, though, wasn't he? Yeah, he's All really the nice. artists that Jack has met have been fabulous, really. They've really taken Jack to the heart and 
and looked after him. And um, John Bishop was from uh, Liverpool. Yeah, the comedian. Uh, he came, walked up to him first and uh, had a chat with him and that. And I think Jack put him, a, he put Jack at his ease because, you know, Jack was from Liverpool Metropolitan Cathedral as well, so they have that in common. Yeah, that's um, a nice thing, isn't it, I think, yeah. Um, you're also an ambassador for Save the Children. You've been out to Africa, South Africa as well. Yes. A place I've never been to. What's it like? Um, it was a bit heart. It was some of it was heartbreaking, seeing children the same age as you, not having the same um, equal opportunities in their life as I do. And it's just, it was some of it was a bit upsetting, but and some of it was just really enjoyable because they're always happy, they're always smiling, and they they they. They have similarities and differences, and the similarities are they that they go to school, they play they they play football, and um, but the differences are they live in houses which is are as small as well, basically just really small, small ones, yeah. and they're made out of tin, and they go to school with no with no clothes or no food because I saw one girl with um, no shoes on her feet and so it was quite it was a bit upsetting but because you get to see people who are the same age as you and I like you in a way but Perhaps don't have quite the same yeah. chances that you might have, yeah. Mm. And I know that some of the money from the music that you've got, your single, is going to go towards um, Save the Children. How does it feel when you get called the new Ali Jones? <laughs> does that feel a funny thing? Yeah, it does. It feels quite weird because Ali Jones is very famous and he's known for singing, right, as a chorus to... Um, a sing, singing um, We're Walking in the Air and it's just amazing that I've been called the new Alec Jones as well. So. You've met him, haven't you? Yes, yes, I have. And was he all right as well? Yes, he's really nice. Oh, see, you're proper professional. Everyone is all all right. Um, what's it like for you, Anita, when you hear Jack sing and when you've heard the single and all this kind of stuff and all the attention? It's amazing, really. Um, it's hard to take it all in and, um, you know, I'm really, really proud of him and uh, you know, and I hope that, uh, you know, lots of children, um, you know, can follow their dreams because that's what Jack really loved his singing and um, and now he's been able to um, sing at the uh, cathedral as a chorister and this opportunity has opened up for him so you never know where you, your dreams will take you or, you know, you... Um, Maybe even to Christmas number one, who knows? <laughs> you, you never know what tomorrow brings, no. No. And do, is it true, do you have a little notepad stashed away so you can get people's signatures? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a secret, we won't mention it much, but I think if I was in your position and meeting all the same people that you've met, then I think I too might have a little notebook tucked away. <laughs> I bet you've got some good ones in there as well, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, it's going to be worth a few quid, that one, especially if you put your own in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you for joining us on the afternoon show. It's really lovely to have you both here and to hear what it's, what it's like for the two of you, Jack and Anita Topping. And good luck with your singing. We look forward to hearing a lot thank more you. of you. Have a nice Christmas. Let's thank have a little blast much. of Slade before we have the news at four o'clock. <laughs> 